hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you why segregation and bleeding may destroy the concrete of building okay actually i am i want to uh, tell you that what is segregation and building and how it uh, effect uh, on the concrete okay so let's start our video here first of all uh, what is segregation okay the separating out of ingredient ingredient mint uh, means uh, sand cement aggregate it is okay the separating out of the ingredient of concrete mix so that the mix is no longer in homogeneous condition is known as segregation okay so when we mix the concrete it do, uh, it do not remains in the homogeneous condition condition okay uh, some part it means uh, some aggregate may fall down or uh, some uh, cement uh, slurry remains on the above of the concrete structure etc okay so this types of defect is known as what segregation okay and it is separating out of the coarser particles from the rest of the matrix like cement uh, slurry sand etc okay as i have told you now okay now what is bleeding okay so here it is a form of segregation it is also a part of segregation okay which sum of the water in the mix tends to rise of the surface of freshly placed concrete okay when we uh, prepare a freshly uh, prepared uh, concrete then what happen uh, some amount of water uh, in the concrete uh, comes above the concrete okay so uh, uh, this types of defect is known as what bleeding okay and this is very dangerous for concrete because when it happen when bleeding happen then uh, the water in the concrete goes evaporated from the uh, surface and hydration cannot take place in the concrete and make the concrete weak okay in the same same way segregation is also this types of defect which uh, this portion of concrete become weak to bear the load okay so uh, the main reason for bleeding is excess of water main reason for concrete is what excess of water after that what are the cause of segregation and bleeding okay so first cause is dropping of concrete from height with result in uh, segregation it means that for example this is our floor okay and when we pour the uh, concrete from more height to this floor then there will be the chance of segregation okay insufficient mixed concrete with excess water is prone to segregation okay if we mix the concrete with excess water more water than required uh, then segregation may occur after that excess vibration vibrating for the long time results in the segregation either if you uh, vibrate the concrete excessively and uh, for a long time then segregation may occur okay now how to avoid segregation and bleeding we read that uh, how the segregation and building may affect the concrete okay now how to avoid it how to uh, prevent from segregation and bleeding so avoid ex uh, excessive compaction in the concrete okay we should not do more comp uh, compaction in concrete use suitable size of aggregate in concrete we should not use the larger size uh, aggregate or very finer size aggregate uh, to make a concrete the dropping of the aggregate in the form of should not be greater than 1.5 meter if this is floor then we should not pour the concrete into this floor more than how much 1.5 meter okay Rather, there should be excessive gap between steel bars to enter concrete slurry in it for example this is our column and this is a steel rod okay so there should be uh, some gap in the steel rod to enter the cement slurry and aggregate okay to prevent from segregation okay after that the bleeding may be reduced by a proper proportioning uniform and complete control compaction it means that we have to properly compact the concrete uh, before uh, opening the formwork okay so guys these uh, are the cause of the segregation and bleeding and uh, in this way we can avoid the segregation and bleeding in the concrete okay otherwise it may uh, collapse whole building because it is 
इट मे बी वीक एट द लोअर पर्सन ऑफ द कॉलम ओके सो गाइज दिस मच फॉर टुडे प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर न्यू अपडेट अबाउट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग थैंक यू